Hi, welcome to Sansa Technology Training Programs. Our training programs are designed to provide you an effective and hands-on training experience. Today's presentation will describe web development using Java E technologies. We'll be talking about the syllabus and the content of this training course. So this training is highly interactive instructor-led training program and is delivered to both classroom and online. And uh, we will have the instructor in the classroom here in California and the participants they can be located anywhere in the globe actually and you'll see a lot of uh, trainees they are located in different parts of the US along with the trainees they are who are coming to the class first topic in this training program is overview of Java EE6 technologies and uh, Java EE platform is built on top of Java SE platform and uh, it is a way to get you an API and runtime environment for developing and running large-scale, multi-tiered, scalable, reliable and secure network applications. You'll be learning about Eclipse IDE, you'll be learning Tomcat server, you'll be learning different tools including Log4j and Maven. In all web applications, you will realize that when the client, like a browser of mine uh, sitting on my computer, makes a call to the server, server needs to receive my request. And uh, in Java technology, servlet is that component that will receive my HTTP request and do something with it. Typically, it will receive my request and it will make a call to a database or web service and it will create a response and send back to the client. So, uh, we here I have a screenshot um, of a very popular book from O'Reilly, a very excellent book. Um, you know, you probably should read this. Um, then, next topic will be Java 7 pages. and. Um, Eventually, once uh, you have received the request from the client, and if you have acted on it, for example, someone is trying to log into the system, you want to create a page to the user, and either you will be showing him a login success page or login failure page. So, JSP is the component in Java which is responsible for creating dynamic content, and that content can be based on HTML, XML, or other document types. After that, we will move into little more advanced topics and we will talk about model view control architecture. We will take either STUTS2 or Spring MVC depending upon uh, interest of the class. Um, both frameworks, they are really frameworks and uh, they provide very consistent um, you know, MVC architecture. So what happens in your application is that once you've received the data, say username and password, you need to talk to database and you need to either validate the user in this case if you're doing trying to do a login. So you have multiple options to talk to database. You can do a JDBC, that's the uh, primitive type of database connection from Java, or you can do something more advanced and uh, ORMs or object relational mappers, they're popular concept in Java EE and other technologies. And uh, we will be taking Hibernate and we will be learning how Hibernate can be used to map your Java object with database. From there we are going to move to Spring Framework and we are going to talk about different components of Spring Framework, especially dependency injection, inversion of control, and Spring Web MVC. From there we are going to move towards XML and XSD and uh, you probably would have used XML, however we will be um, putting a um, lot of, uh, we'll be doing a lot of discussion around how do you uh, work with XML and how do you parse them, what's SAX parsing, what's DOM parsing, how do you really instantiate your factory and uh, things like that. We also will talk about uh, XML schema definition and how you can use XSD to define your XML document. So you probably will find it extremely useful because in any technologies, especially Java E, you'll be dealing with a lot of XML content. After that, we're going to move towards service-oriented architecture and web services. And uh, service-oriented architecture, as that name says, is an architecture where different uh, your application will be distributed, and some of the applications, they will be responsible for providing a service to your application. And we are going to take Apache Access to, to implement web services. And uh, I have a few 
showing screenshots here where Tomcat is showing the service or access to or how can you use Service Archiver plugin from Eclipse to create your service. From there, we are going to move towards unit testing in JUnit. And uh, as a Java e developer, you definitely will be expected to write unit test cases. And it's extremely, um, uh, you know, easy. Uh, you know, JUnit and TestNG they make your life extremely easy, and they provide a consistent framework. So we'll be showing you how do you create uh, new test cases and uh, how can you create a test suite using JUnit. And uh, during the course, we will talk about a few more things. Uh, you know, I'll try to list hit them here, like design patterns. We will take in um, you know gang of design patterns, as you know. There are uh, many design patterns, and uh, they are very well used in your application development environment. We also will be looking at Maven, this build tool, Log4j, that is a login framework for your application. So, if you look at the summary of what tools and frameworks you'll be learning, you'll be learning a lot of things, starting with Eclipse IDE for Java developers, Tomcat, Struts, JSPs, Spring, Struts towards Spring MVC. Hibernate, XML XST, Web Services, Apache Access Tool, JUnit, Maven, Log4j. So it's a six weeks training program and uh, it is uh, conducted in highly interactive session. So if you want to learn more about the training program or if you want to join the training program, you can uh, send an email to contact at sensorcorp.com or you can visit us at our location in Milpitas, California, which is in Santa Clara County very close to uh, some of the uh, very very big companies and uh, here's a list of telephone numbers you can speak uh, to and they can help you with your training programs you can also follow us on twitter and our um, url is twitter.com slash sensor technology some of the useful urls are listed here and uh, you know we are our home url is sensor technology.com twitter is sensor technology linkedin is sensor technology blogs blogs a week and they're very informative so you'll find them very useful and you already are on the YouTube channel watching this video so we also have a YouTube component so thank you so much for joining I hope this training program will be very useful to you we are very confident about the training program we offer thank you so much